recap time, you guys. Get excited. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Monique <laughs> and I'm doing another power recap season 5 episode 4 so the episode starts off with Ghost's fundraiser Tasha was supposed to go with him but she's so tired she doesn't feel like it is not right to her so he goes without her and he gives the speech that she was supposed to give and during his speech you know he flowing he, he doing good he sees Raina out in the crowd so obviously he's losing his mind so he jumps off the stage and taps this little girl that obviously is not Raina. And then everybody is looking at him like he's crazy. So, of course, the next scene is him drinking again. Slowly, he's developing a little problem. He's drinking to forget what's going on. He's not really dealing. He's not grieving. I guess maybe that's a sign of weakness for him. Like, he doesn't let himself get that vulnerable. Okay, Tommy... Oh, let's see. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy and his father, Teresi, they basically go to like this Italian dinner to celebrate Teresi getting out. And I'm sure all of them are thinking like he had a life sentence. Like, why is he out? Was he snitching? If he is snitching, they're going to find out. They're going to handle it accordingly. So he made a big speech talking about family and how, you know, he's glad to be out and stuff like that. And then, you know, one of the crew is like... he. He got a life sentence. How is he possibly out? And then the other guy was like, respect him. But, um, you know, they, they know something's up because it's no way. But, you know, Teresi is plotting on Tommy. I'm not sure when they're going to arrest him. But, you know, the police, they contacted Teresi. They say, you know, you got our number. Contact us. Let us know what's going on. But, you know, Teresi, his main goal for being out is because he wanted to be with his wife, Connie, because she's ill. You know, she doesn't really have much time and he wants to spend time with her. Like, he didn't want to be in prison when she passed away. Dre, 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 Dre. Like, it's it's about to go down for Dre. It's about to go down soon. Like, he's the connect. Like, it, it's about to go down. Um, The Jimenez leaders, Alicia and Diego. So, mm-mm-mm. Angela finally brings the man. She thinks, oh my God, this is my big break. And then the DA guy, Steven, that she slept with, bust in. It was like, my boss said that I have to let them go. And then she's pissed because she knows this is her big break. Like, this is what she's been waiting for. Like, she finally thought that she was about to take the Jimenez crew down. Well, she was wrong. She was wrong. I'm sorry you can't always, you know, sleep your way to the top. Um, what else happened? So Alicia, she's she's gonna she's basically gonna take her brother down, Diego. So if the police like ever question her again and they're like, Oh, you going to jail, I think she has no problem with snitching on Diego. Cannon, he's lurking, he's plotting. He was shooting at guys that were shooting at the Italians. So then the Italians brought him in for a drink and it was like, oh, do you know the guys? He was like, no, I don't really know them. I think he's trying to get on their good side. And who is it? Ghost and Cannon. I think they're plotting to get the Italians against Tommy because he knows that the Italians are not good for Tommy. But, you know, we're going to see how that goes. Tasha finally left Ghost. I guess she's going to move in with Terry. So Ghost shows up to the apartment, sees all their stuff packed. She He follows Tasha into the bedroom where she's packing up the rest of the stuff and basically like, what's going on? She's basically like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with this marriage. I'm done with this penthouse. She's over it. And I'm like, it's about time. I mean, Ghost left you in the past. Like, he didn't care about your relationship. And it's about time she takes care of her. So I was like, mm -hmm, okay, girl. <laughs> So he can't believe it because Ghost wants to get what he wants. Like he thinks like he can have his cake and eat it too. He feels like he could do what he wanted to do with Angela and that Tasha was always going to be there for him because she's a ride or die chick. Like she's always been there. And now I'm sure he's probably thinking, oh, she's finally leaving me. Like, and then he's like, oh, well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. He doesn't think it's over, but I feel like it's over. 
And let's see, what else did I miss? Pretty sure I missed some other stuff. Proctor. Okay, so Proctor basically has custody of his daughter. And earlier in the episode, the baby, the baby's mother, she came to the apartment basically giving her daughter this little coin, this little token, because she's 30 days sober. And the little girl's like, oh, basically, oh, I got another one. So this isn't the first 30 day sober token she's been given. So she's basically talking to Proctor, being like, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to get right. You know, I want to see my daughter more. He's basically not having it because I'm sure he's seen this side of her before and he doesn't believe that she's finally making the change. So later in the episode, the police raid Proctor's house because they figured out that he was the last person to see the IT security guy. You know, the one that Tommy stabbed to death in his apartment. He was bleeding all over the place and he hid the body and they cleaned up everything. Proctor thinks that he's going to get his legal rights back. He thinks that he's going to become a lawyer again. I feel like they have so much stuff on Proctor. Like, that's not going to happen. He keeps texting ghosts, letting him know, oh, Tommy's losing his mind. We got to do something about Tommy. I'm sure the police will eventually have the authority to check all the phone calls and text messages. I'm not sure if they found any blood, like when they were scanning Proctor's house. But, no, I don't think he's going to get his lawyer license back. Like, I know he, you know, he's confident about it, but I don't think so. Like, it's too much going on. Like, he's, he's too deep into this situation. And Angela, mm -mm, she think nobody knows, but that lady, I don't know her name. But that lady that was, that saw her at Ray Ray's um crime scene you know she's she got her even though angela made it so she can't really be on the case uh, she's still lurking around she she's going to get angela she's gonna figure out her connection in all these cases and a jamie and i feel like angela's gonna get locked up i'm not sure if tommy maybe ghost is gonna get locked up i don't know what's gonna happen in this next episode but i feel like well, i don't know but I feel like they're all going down eventually. I can't wait till episode five. It's getting real juicy. Um, let's see. What else? I think that is it. If I forgot anything else, you all just watch the episode for yourselves and enjoy. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything else. Okay, I can say that um, Tasha's mother finally confronted Tasha about seeing her and Terry all hugged up at Raina's funeral. But you know, Tasha's mother gotta get over it. Tasha has the right to be happy too. So I guess Tasha's mother thought, oh, you know, that she was just gonna forgive Jamie again and that they was all gonna stay a happy family. But Tasha needs to move on. She has to do what's right for her. And I'm glad she finally did. She moved out. Ghost never saw that coming. So I can't wait till episode five. I hope you all like this review. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, and I'll see you all in the next review. Bye.